have an Instagram account where you upload your favorite pictures? You know, pictures of your vacation, your family, your puppy, or what you're just doing for the day? I do. You know, I don't have a lot of followers, mostly just my friends. And if I get a few likes, then I know I uploaded a cute photo. Well, for teens, Instagram is all about the numbers. The number of followers, the number of comments, and the number of likes. And these things called hashtags are what they use to get those numbers up quickly. Hashtags like hashtag love, hashtag me, and hashtag selfie. Let's find out what kind of attention Taylor is seeking when she uploads her new selfies to Instagram. Wow, look at the photos Jake is posting. He's such a dork. He might be a dork, but he's a cute one. Hit like. <laughs> hey, did you hear that comment that Jessica made to Bailey about her Instagram pics? At lunch? Yeah, but I'm not following her. Are you? No, but let's see what they were talking about. No wonder why all the guys are following her. Look at her photos. Or her poses. What she's wearing or lack of. <sighs> Connor is following her. Well, Connor is your abusive ex-boyfriend. Let me stress, ex-boyfriend? Who cares who's following her? I mean, they're only following her because of what she's doing. It's just wrong. But look at all the guys. I mean, I'd like to have one of them. A nice one. Well, you aren't going to find a nice one by posing half nude and showing everything you have. Yeah, but Alexis, everyone is doing it. And I mean, it can't be that big of a deal. <laughs> not everyone, not me. I wish I had guys falling all over me. I mean, maybe it's time to stop posting pictures of my dog and actually post some pictures that get attention. That should do it. Jake liked it. He is so cute. I hope he comments. Oh, snap. A comment from Alexis. What are you doing? Just having a little fun. For who? The guys? Taylor, this is not a way for you to grab up a new boyfriend. Showing off everything and anything to everyone is not going to get you anyone. That's not what a real guy wants. And like, you know what a guy wants. I mean, seriously, Alexis, when was the last time you even had a boyfriend? Nice job, Taylor. Go ahead, post your half-nude photos and see what guys really want from you. You'll be left with nothing but your photos. Well, Jake likes them, and he's a nice guy. Yeah, but once Jake sees your postings of your behind, he's not going to think you're a nice girl anymore. Maybe I don't want to be the nice girl anymore. I mean, it can be pretty boring. I just want to go have a little fun. What happened to you, Taylor? You are the girl who has fun, no matter where she's at or what she was doing. Think about it. This is not you. You are the one that sees true beauty in everyone, the inner beauty in everyone that she meets. Don't you want people to still see that in you? I mean, who cares how many likes you get on Instagram? You're right, Alexis. It's really not who I am. We all love to share photos about our lives, our families, children and grandchildren, and today's technology is helping us to do that in ways we never imagined. Instagram is a great way to share our lives with others, but teens and tweens are using it more than just photo sharing. You know, most parents feel that Instagram is a good alternative for their kids who they feel that are too young for Facebook. But some parents don't realize that teens can connect and communicate with others that they don't know personally through their comments. 
and anyone can follow you if you don't have your Instagram account set a private. And then there are the photos that the teens are sharing, the provocative selfies. Those are photos that they take of themselves that get a lot of likes and a ton of comments. So here are a few things to keep in mind. Join Instagram and follow your daughter or granddaughter. This will let her know that you see her photos that are being uploaded and you can like or read her comments. Talk to her about modesty when she posts selfies. We as a culture have allowed celebrities, contemporary music artists and reality stars to set the standards for our teens. And when they post a nude or suggestive photo and get positive responses and we don't do anything about it, our teen daughters are going to follow. It's time for us to set the standards for our teen daughters. And one more thing, there's a feature on Instagram where you can share the location where you took the photo. If you choose that location, the app brings up the map and a small dot exactly where you took that picture. Make sure that feature remains off. Colossians 3.17 is my life Bible verse. And whatever you do, whether word or deed, do it in the name of Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Next week, it's all about the guys. What do they really want in a girl?